It's time to catch a cheater. Only on the Jubal Show. Linnea is on the phone today for To Catch a Cheater, and she thinks that her husband, Keith, might be cheating on her, so we're going to see if we can help her out. Linnea, thanks for coming on the show and agreeing to do this. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, so um, my husband and I have been married for a year now. Okay. Um, but we were together for five years before that. And, um, I'll have to admit that he cheated on me, um, previously in our relationship. Um, and you know, of course, friends and family told me like, you know, don't do it, don't marry him. But you know, he sounded genuinely, you know, um, sad when Mm -hmm. he apologized, you know, said he would never do it again. Um, and then he proposed. You know, so of course, you know, that's a lot of emotions. Yeah. Hmm. It feels like it's starting again. You know, um, previously when he cheated on me, you know, he was on his phone a lot. He was busy. Um, and now he's always on his phone. He's always busy. Um, he offers to run errands a lot, which I mean, at first I was just so excited because, you know, I have to admit, you know, uh, we have one of those relationships where, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff falls on me, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? And, uh, so when he started offering to run errands, I was just so excited yeah. that I didn't have to do it all anymore. Um, but he offers to run, you know, like a simple grocery store, getting like a gallon of milk kind of a thing. And he's gone for hours and he ignores my text. Like I'll text him after like a couple of hours because you know, I'm, I'm not one of those people who's like always got to know where my man is. But if you say you're running to the like local grocery store to grab some milk and you're gone for five hours, you know, I, I text you around like two hours to be like, Hey, you okay? Because, you know, what if he got hurt? What if he got in an accident? You know, it's like... That's where my I, mind would I go to. I start to worry. Unfortunately, you know, it's it's a hereditary thing. My mother's the same way. Well, I think that just means that you care. Because yeah. that's... If anybody disappears for two hours and you can't find them, you start to worry. Right. That's a long... Right? That's a long time. And for milk, okay? The most recent one was milk. You know, we were out of milk. I was trying to pour some cereal and he was like, hey, I'm going to go grab you some milk. And I was like, oh, you know, again, like thinking, what a sweetie. Mm. And then he was gone for, I think it wasn't five hours. I think I'm exaggerating a little, um, maybe like three hours. And it's like, I I was in the process of, you know, pouring some cereal. Like, <laughs> so what did he, did you ask him like what he was doing when he came back? What did he say? that he ran into someone at the grocery store who's a friend of his. I'd never heard of this friend before, someone named Mark, and how Mark was like, oh, dude, you know, can you help me? I have something. I need your help with real fast. And he said he ended up going to Mark's place and, like, helping him put together a cabinet or something. Like, it was... It was huh. I mean, maybe that could be real, but it just sounded like such BS, you know? Yeah, big time. Well, why wouldn't he text you that? Exactly. Right. But, you know, he's not for how much his phone is in his hands. He is really bad at responding to text messages. Yeah. At least for me. Well, for anybody. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's terrible. OK. I just need to know. I, I think he's cheated on me before. You know, are, are my emotions getting in the way? Um, even though his behavior is so weird, you know, it's like maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a good reason behind it. Maybe he's not cheating. Maybe I'm just overreacting. I just, I feel like I'm going crazy. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can figure it out for you. You told us what grocery store you guys are rewards card members at, so we'll call and pretend to be from there. <clears throat> Offer him free flowers for being a very valued customer and see if he sends the flowers to you or somebody else, okay? Okay. Play a song, come back, and get your To Catch a Cheater next. It's time to catch a cheater. Only on the Jubal Show. Right in the middle of To Catch a Cheater. And if you're just joining us, Linnea is on the phone. She thinks that her husband, Keith, might be cheating on her. We're about to call him and pretend to be from the grocery store that he's a rewards card member at and say that every single month we choose one rewards card member at random who gets free flowers delivered from our floral department. We'll see if he believes that. And if he's if he does, if he sends them to his wife, Linnea, or to somebody else. And before we call him, Linnea, can you kind of run down the reasons for people if they're just joining us? So he's cheated on me before. We've been together for five years, but married for one. He cheated on me before we got married. And now he's just being really weird. 
always on his phone, always busy, and then running errands and like for something easy as getting milk, being gone for like three hours. So okay. weird. That is mm-hmm. weird. That's a long time. Oh, here we go. Are you ready for us to call him? As ready as I'm going to be. All right, here we go. Hi, is this Keith, who's a rewards card member at Yeah, this is Keith. Keith, please don't hang up. This is not a marketing call. I'm calling to tell you congratulations because you're this month's big winner. Oh, awesome. So mm-hmm. I won something? Yes, you won the flowers. Every single month, we choose one rewards card member at random who gets free flowers delivered from our floral department. It's our way of saying thank you and promoting the fact also that we do flower delivery now. So you've won 36 long stem red roses, a box of chocolates, and a card to be sent to anywhere in the 50 United States absolutely free. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. If you know who you want to send the flowers to, I can take the information down in just a matter of minutes on the phone right now. Oh, I know who I want to send them to. We can do this right now. Let's start with the name, first and last name of the lucky recipient of the flowers. I'm going to give the flowers to my wife, Linnea. To your wife, Linnea. Same last name then, I guess. Yep, the same last name. About to celebrate our oh. one-year anniversary. Oh, congratulations. That's sweet. You know, I was, in, I was married once, and we were married for a year, and then I got a little antsy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> a couple of drinks at the local bar, and before I knew it, you know. I was at uh, waking up in someone else's house, someone else's bed. <laughs> and yeah, so I cheated on my wife about one year. Oh, wow, man. Yeah. You do that yet? Have I cheated on my wife? Yeah, in the last year or so. No, I would absolutely not cheat on my wife. Can we get back to the flowers? No, we can't because this is actually Jubal from the Jubal Show. It's a radio show. Hi, I'm Nina, also from the show. Hi, and I'm Victoria. We do a segment on the show where if your significant other thinks you might be cheating, we try to catch you by seeing who you send flowers to. And your wife, Lene, is actually also on the phone and been listening. Hi, Keith. (sighs) What? Keith, I'm so sorry, but you've just been acting so weird recently. And, you know, you've, you've done this to me before, so... With your strange behavior and being gone for so long and all these other things, you know, I just, I thought you were cheating again. I'm definitely not cheating. And it hurts that you think that. Well, you know, um, you didn't go to boys night the other night at the local dive bar. What do you expect me to think? You know, you're not telling me the truth. You're not communicating with me. Like you've done this before. What am, what am I supposed to think? When, when you go to get me milk and you're gone for three hours. Wait a minute. How did you even know I didn't go to boys night? Well, you know, when you're gone for three hours to get milk, uh, I followed you to see where you were really going. I'm not wow. proud of that. I, okay. I am not, I'm not proud of that. Honestly, Keith, I feel like I've been going crazy because just nothing you're doing recently makes any sense. Wow. Well, I just can't believe you don't trust me and that you would follow me. Um, I've been trying to be the best husband I can be. You don't even really sound that sad, Keith. And like, what do you have to say about not being Mm -hmm. a boys night? I mean, we're, we're missing a whole part here. We're being gone for three hours for milk. Yeah. What are you doing, bro? For milk, Keith. Well, I've just been really busy and, and you know, I, Speaking of boys night, I just, I needed a break. I needed a break from the boys and I wanted to be in a new environment. So why couldn't it you has just nothing... tell me that? Yeah, it, it sounds shady, Keith. Why couldn't you just Keith? tell me, hey, I need a night to myself. The boys invited me. I don't want to go with them. Like, why aren't you communicating with me? I think that's the bigger issue here, maybe. You know, if you're not cheating, why aren't you communicating with me? We always tell each other everything. Where did you go, Keith? Yeah. Like, I think we still want to just know where you yeah. went. Yeah, it sounds shady. I mean, you know, why are you breathing down my neck so hard? I just needed a break from boys night, and I went to a different bar to be in a new environment. And I just can't believe that you don't trust me, you know, so much that you're going to follow me around and check in on well, me. I mean, I, I'm well, busy. When we, talk about, when we talk about saving up for a house, and you go to a bar that fancy, how much was the tab? Did you pay for the tab? Of course you know I that paid we're for saving the tab. up for a half. 
Well, you know we're setting up for a house. So what the hell? Why are you going to this fancy bar by yourself when we're saving up for a house, Keith? Wait, so you know where he went then, Linnea? You followed him to the yeah, fancy bar? Yeah, I followed him. Mm. I followed him. Oh. And I looked up that place because we've never been there. He's never taken his wife there. And it had, like, the $3 signs or the $4 signs. And I looked at the menu. If they don't list the prices... We can't afford it. Let's just put it that way. If you followed him, do you know if there was anyone with him? I was not able to find that out. They have the the whole tinted window thing or whatever so that you can't see inside. And honestly, at that moment in time, I really, I really didn't want to see it. I didn't, I didn't want to actually go with and have to see it. But I figured if he was going to somewhere that nice, that it had to be a woman. And I just, I just couldn't handle that. Oh, Linnea. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Listen, babe, I, I can't do this to you anymore. Um, I've been, I've been seeing the, the bartender at the bar, and I, I'm really sorry. <laughs> what? Oh, Linnea. Oh. I I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm, what? I'm sorry. You gotta go? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Oh, Lene, I'm so sorry. I should have never taken it back. No, it's okay because you did, and now you'll never have a what if. You know for sure, and you're going to be able to move forward. Thank you, guys. I'm well, so thank sorry. You. Well, let us know if you need anything off the yeah. air, okay? The Jubal Show's To Catch a Cheater.